Hi Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane. And we're going to be doing your July 21st to the 27th, 2024 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. It gets this channel seen by more people, which gets the message of spirit out to more people. So thank you so very much for doing so. And we're going to see how far these cards take us. Should we do one more? No, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think this is perfect. I love how spirit just gave you your reading. It's like, here it is. This is exactly what you need to know. So I love that for you. It moves us here. Oh, to the knight of cups this is us we're represented by the cups in the minor arcana with the knight of cups we are moving forward towards what we love in love you know connecting with our heart connecting with what we desire really raising ourselves also above the like pettiness of of the world and others and really looking at okay what's sacredly important to me what do i love where do i want my heart to be like what do, what do i want to give my all to and that's going to be a really big question i mean that is a really big question but that's going to be a really big question for us this week it's like what do i want to give my all to like where how am i showing up for myself it moves us then to the king of pentacles and the king of pentacles is earth sign energy taurus virgo capricorn if you have earth sign energy in your chart if you have earth sign energy in your life this comes through very powerfully very positively during this time it's very much looking at yourself and seeing prosperity seeing success seeing bounty seeing abundance excuse me i'm gonna cough <coughs> i do apologize if you have earth sign energy in your life it's also then really embracing and embodying this this power of i am prosperous you are also going to be huh, that's very interesting so spirit is showing here like you meeting somebody it's kind of like a throwaway meeting it's something that like this person probably won't ever think twice about but really has you looking at yourself quite differently and has you looking at like oh i can do this quite differently like oh my gosh i didn't realize that door could open or i didn't realize that there was even a door there so that's really quite cool it moves us then to justice reverse now this is libra energy time frame is september 23rd to october 22nd some things right now aren't going to be just and they aren't going to be fair and we're going to look at them and be like you know what this wasn't fair and this wasn't right yeah you know and stop it wasn't so looking at that and just being open and honest with ourselves and not trying to say oh but i have to find the silver lining in all of this and you know i have to look for the good side in this person or that situation it's like no that person is a jerk this wasn't fair now I'm moving on that's going to be very 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 important to us and for us during this time also with justice reverse do not try even though you're going to i know you're not going to listen to this but try really hard to be as fair to yourself as you can be okay it's not making everything fair for everybody else and everything just like this everything just like that it's like try yes uphold your responsibilities you know be a, a, a good person you know type of thing but be as fair to yourself because i see you bending over backwards for people who don't even realize you're doing it like they don't even realize you're putting yourself out so it's like be just and fair to you because those people aren't necessarily just nor are they fair it moves us then to the universe the world is opening to you this the universe is the world in the right away smith deck the universe is opening to you and i love how you're this diaphanous being right here of snow and wind and and just the great expanse like stardust mixed in there for good measure and it's just like you're endless you're timeless you're you're amazing embrace it and this is a time of saying how do i step into the world it doesn't mean that you have to be like knocking down doors and, you know, doing this crazy thing or that crazy thing. It's like, but how do I step into the world? And how do I step into me? And that's going to be really important because you're taking on a new role and you can start to to find that role, you know, during this time, but you're you're definitely becoming aware of it. It's like, oh, there there's something else here for me. It moves us then to the Ten of Pentacles. Now, <sighs> This can be looking for a better paying job. Just going to put that out there because that's the first thing that spirit said. But this is also a sense with the Ten of Pentacles of coming to a completion of a, of a cycle, financially speaking. And this can be like, well, I did, I'm not where I thought I would be at this exact moment. And spirit's like, yeah, you're not. It's, it's on pause. So there's something bigger that you 
are supposed to be looking at, supposed to be seeing. There's something bigger here that's calling you forward into your prosperity, into your success, into your abundance of self. With the Ten of Pentacles, it's, there can also be the sense of, of being a bit jealous, right? We're looking at other people. We're looking at all these cool places. Other people are going, all these fun things. Other people are doing, and we can be doing the same thing, day in, day out, day in, day out. And here, just be very mindful that comparison is the thief of joy. You don't know anything but those people's A reels. Like, you really don't. You only know what they want to show you. And so here, don't be jealous of what we perceive they have. Be content in what we know we have. Because this can be looking at things and saying, you know, I'm cursed. I'm never going to get any place. My family always has this struggle. You know, I, I, I don't even know how I'm going to move forward. Everything's always hard. And Spirit's like, no, step back. Look at how blessed you are. Because there are things like, even if it's like, I can take a deep breath which seems like such a throwaway thing. If you can't do it, that's everything. Looking at ourselves. And yes, I know when we're in despair and angry and upset, it, it doesn't really help, but it does. It helps us to, to give ourselves, you know, a bit of a step up, a step up out of the pit that we're in. And so here with the 10 of pentacles, don't compare yourself to everybody else. Look at yourself and say, what do I want? And don't make that what I want, you know, to be so astronomical that it's like, well, why even try? What do I want to achieve today? One thing, put it on your list and then cross it off at the end of the day after you've achieved it and do that for the whole entire week because then all of a sudden you're going to see yourself as this really like go-getting, I can do this type of person and it's going to change your whole perception. It moves us then to the page of wands. This is fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If we're born on the cusp of Aries, if we have fire sign energy in our chart, Listen to your inner child. There's something about your passion that needs to be heard that as a water sign energy, you've buried down somewhere along the way. If you have a child in your life, your child, grandchild, a niece, a nephew, children that you work with, that is a fire sign energy. Okay. Again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or has very strong fire sign energy in their chart. You are going to find that they hold a message for you. There's some way that they handle themselves. There's some way that they're doing something that it's like, oh my gosh, that was me. You know, you don't even have to, you don't have to be related to this person at all in the slightest. It's going to be like, oh my God, that was me. And it's like, oh my gosh, now I'm remembering when I was small, how I felt then. And then it's going to unlock a whole thing that you didn't even need to, you didn't even know you needed to unpack. So being aware of that is going to be super important. It moves us then to our spirit message. And if you're interested in entering to receive a free reading, please put a sun in the comment box below. A person will be chosen at random and announced at random. So good luck to everyone, angels and spirit guides. Show me clearly. And this is the turkey reverse, the white turkey reverse. And it says the power to heal the earth is within you. And this is reverse, like we're not seeing it. And yet Pisces, it's right there. It moves us to our chakra energy, angels and spirit guides. Show me clearly guide this reading and show me clearly angels and spirit guides angels this is balance this is the root chakra being in balance with ourselves being in harmony with ourselves embracing the sacred feminine sacred masculine aspects of us is so important so powerful and it's also going to open up our world open up the way we see ourselves it moves us then to our energy to be mindful of Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. And this is the nine of pentacles. Be very mindful during this time because we have a gift coming our way. We're, we're the knight of cups, right? We have this powerhouse of, of gift, of tenacity, of brilliance coming forward with the nine of pentacles reverse and the 10 of pentacles reverse. We're not seeing it. The nine of pentacles is the fact that we're very good at living in the past or living in the future, but living in the right here, right now, freaks us out. It's going to freak us out for one reason or another. And Spirit's like, stop it. Stop it. Own your present. Stand tall, shoulders back, head up high. Own your worth. You're spectacular. Spectacular. Embracing prosperity and success, bounty, abundance. Also knowing that we have, we have prosperity on our side. We do. It might seem like, yeah, sure. Like, yeah, sure, okay. Like, that's a nice story you're telling me. But 
there is there's a way here of looking at ourselves that says, I am prosperous. I am bountiful. I am putting these things together. I am opening up the door. Things haven't been just unfair. If you have come out of this time and the world is open to you, my gosh, can you imagine as things calm down? Don't compare yourself to everybody else. Everybody's living their own, you know, life. And I'm sure they envy you over certain things. So just be aware of that. Listen to your passion. Listen to your inner child. Listen to your inner fire. But also listen to that little spunky kid that's around you. Because my gosh, they hold a message for you. Our subconscious spirit message is the goose. Your dreams and desires are calling to you to action. The journey begins today. It does. It, it's all beginning today. And that is beautiful. It moves us then to our chakra energy, which is determination reverse. This is our solar plexus chakra. We can have our tummy all in a knot because like, it's not getting easier. Determination. This is salmon swimming upstream, right? It's not easy. It's not supposed to be easy. Heck, why the heck do they do it? Well, you know, because it gets them to the place that they need to be. We're swimming upstream because that's what's getting us to the place that we need to be for our security, for our bounty, for our abundance in this world. It moves us to our energy to be mindful of. This is the queen of cups. Be mindful to ourselves that we can get in our own way. Okay. Cause we're represented by the cups, the minor arcana, be mindful of emotional manipulation. All right. And also be mindful that we can be emotionally manipulating ourselves. So just calling ourselves out, you know, sitting there not being really mean and harsh to ourselves, that will make us shut down. But calling ourselves out when we're being a little bit ridiculous is going to be important. You're going to have a door close. You just are. There's going to be something here where it's like slam the door, stomp away, something ends. And it's not necessarily going to be on the best of terms. It can leave a sour taste in your mouth. It doesn't mean that it has to be a bad thing. Like the other person can think, think like, oh, this was perfect. But you're like, I'm never coming back here. I'm never doing this. So just be aware of that. But here it is, it's seeing within and then closing the door and turning within and unlocking the key and like realizing that there's so much more here than meets the eye. All right. All right, Pisces. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. And please note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Pisces. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.